<clears throat> Yo, what's good with y'all? Man, before I even get into the video and get to react to Mr. Stupid Man, I definitely need all my real supporters, man, to definitely drop a like for the boy. We definitely uh got some things to talk about tonight, man. So hopefully I can rest after a few videos I'm about to drop, man, because I definitely want to do a live tonight, man. Obviously, not obviously, but to talk about this and um you know to talk about some of the things that happened yesterday man on the fourth it was crazy out so you know with that being said i hope that uh y'all y'all loved ones was able to um stay safe man and enjoy y'all time with y'all families yesterday man a lot of folks probably wasn't able to man y'all seen what happened uh i don't even know if that happened that, like the day before yesterday um i think it was yesterday uh with the uh shooting that happened uh, on the block on the O. Then you had the mass shooting. It's a lot. It's a lot going on. And I know that we got a lot of different things going on in our lives, y'all. That's that problem, that stress that you're going through. The world, that the stress that you get from the world when you're being of the world, man, that stuff literally is to keep you just selfish, basically, in a sense. And so I get it that we not really, you know, not everybody, obviously, but, you know, the signs people ain't paying attention to the signs of just the time that we living in man because we got a lot to worry about in our own everyday life i get it but y'all know how i am man when you come over here you know i'm gonna bring up the bible you know i'm gonna bring up god when you get into the bible it literally lays it all out man. but yeah man with that being said i'm kind of just trying to just talk um to basically get to the two minute mark because y'all know how dude finna get he finna get real ignorant and yeah, I, I just got a lot of, not a lot, but a few things to say about some of the comments he makes and a few questions to ask the people who are so, oh my God, he loves the people. Charleston White, he's, you just don't understand what he's doing. Nah, it's not that. But yeah, the two minute mark is up. So without further ado, man, we're going to get into the video. Good mama. How can he care about MPG, Doug, mama? But he don't care about King Bomb, mama. I don't care about your mama. Yeah, yeah, I don't give a fuck about your mama. I only care about what I care about. And I care about Tuka mama. I care about FBG Doug mama. I don't care about nobody else mama. I gotta pause right here, folks. Don't this nigga look like a dark skinned pinky in a brain or something like kneecap head ass? Like, bro, just look at the shape of this man here. I'm, I know this ain't got nothing to do with the video, but he always going on somebody, bro. Hot dog head ass. Like, he just got <laughs> – he be blowing me, bro. This dude really be just – he just gets to be because the people just – when somebody come out and they speak, you know, when somebody he – he's a very good – uh, you know, for as, as crazy as I think he is, he can articulate well for, uh, for a fool. A lot of people got the gift of God for show, man. So y'all watch out for that. But I just I definitely just had to point out little folks, little el elbow head ass. Like he definitely look fun. I had to say that. Yeah, I don't even care. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't even care. I, I care about what I care about. And I get to choose what I want to care about. I get to pick what I don't want to care about. And I don't want to give a fuck about King Von Mama, King Von Daughter, King Von Sister, King Von People, King Von Homeboy. King Von is a known documented killer. Tuka and FBG Duck is not a known documented killer. They don't even have arrest records. A lot of people don't have arrest record. King Von is a documented killer. So Question. Mr. Potato, question for you, Mr. Potato. So, basically, what you saying was you riding with them because they was just gangsters. They rapped about the gangsters. They did the same things that Vaughn did, but they name ain't in no paperwork, so you don't care about that. I, I, I don't know. It's kind of just seems as though he leading was something that uh just really too much if you think about it really don't make sense it don't it don't matter what von actually what you knew about him to be true but it matters what we all are involved in nigga once you were part of gang get yeah, part of gang you you start and i'm not talking about tuka man tuka passed away way like way long before you know 
you know, ain't no telling what, a, you know, Tuka could have been. You know, we was all very still, you know, we was very young at that age. So, but for Vaughn and for Duck, man, like, and, and this, y'all know me. I don't throw no, no, I don't have no ops. I don't have no ops, but I think it's crazy to try to come out here. You know what Duck them rapped about, man. All of the stuff that Duck them said and, and, and his dividing line to get the people to, um, Agree with his messages. Oh, I was a known killer. He was a known killer. FBG Duck, like Duck them, just, they rapped about the stuff, but because there's no facts that they actually that you could prove them. You know, it, it, it just seems weird. It seems weird. It's, it's it seems like uh you you, you pushing for something that and 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 it don't seem too logical to me. Go fuck that nigga. Fuck you talking about. I don't give a damn about no nigga kill black people. Tuka didn't kill black people. FBG Duck didn't kill black people. He just rapped about it. King Von. And he just said FBG Duck didn't kill black people. He just rapped about it. Nigga, that's the, that, is that okay? So obviously, if he rapping about it, his like it, it, let's be mindful, Mr. Potato, of the niggas who we talking about. All right, so if he ain't doing it, then his homies them doing it. So he wasn't for the 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 um duck himself wasn't for the for the preservation of life Pre y'all know the word i'm trying to say preservation you know you know preserving life he himself wasn't for the preservation of life so why are you coming out here and first and foremost nigga it's just seeming like ever since i got it i got into it but i made my little videos i think he did that it's like now he want to feel like he a part of this war he just wants to feel a part of 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 like you're not a part of this but and I'm, I'm not trying to say i'm a part of it but i'm i'm actually a part of it nigga that's where i come from i was i ain't gotta we ain't gotta speak on that but it's just so so weird to me that this dude coming out just just and he's if any of y'all who follow him can't see the 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 foolish the fuckery within the the shit that he does it tells a lot about you yourself like the things that that make you who you are. A lot of y'all just deep down are weird. A lot of y'all weird, man. He he's entertaining to y'all, so y'all like him. But I, this dude is weird, man. He's definitely Actually weird. Kill black people. So fuck that nigga. Who is Ki Mama? I don't give a fuck Ki. I don't give a fuck about no motherfucking Ki. I don't even know no motherfucking Ki. So fuck Ki, nigga. I don't even know that motherfucker. I don't care about nothing. I don't know. Yeah, nigga. Fuck Ki, nigga. Mr. Tukaville yourself, because yeah, I, I done seen some videos where you're calling yourself Mr. Tukaville, saying you took it. Nigga, how are you sitting like this is the epitome of ignorance? Anybody, and, and and obviously he he literally does the same thing that he hates Vaughn for. Vaughn, he talked about all those dead people, made all those songs, bro. You make content after content after content bashing a man that is gone not gonna tell you if my man if my brother was alive right now dog uh you, you wouldn't talk so crazily like that folk you you definitely wouldn't even be able to talk that like that around me all this shit that you saying all this all this bruh and how i feel with the morals that i got based off the principles that god has has been instilling in me dog i, I still couldn't get around you bro i touch on you i don't Bro, I'm not trying to hit no you. You you dis you got a disability. No, nah, nigga. I'm not trying to hit no you got no disability. No, none of that. Then y'all gonna be in my comment. Bro, there is no reason why he should have this hate in his heart. Bro, if you are for black people for living, you should be just talking on a bigger picture that man, this is a, a um an image that Vaughn was. This is all what the world wanted us to be. Obviously, I get angry at a lot of the niggas that do the stuff that Vaughn did. Y'all know I talk about them. But again, I know the way of the world. These grown men, overly grown men, invest in all their time in this. And they don't understand the they don't understand the world. They they it might be funny to you, and I get it. I understand how it is, but this is weird. This is weird. And he's sitting up here disrespecting KI. How you up here disrespecting KI? One of two good homies, you know, somebody that F uh, the FBG duck well, love that he grew up around and that was a, a big part in it and, and it's like he's speaking on some stuff that he don't know about you making yourself a target you're marking yourself you know literally for what just man I don't know who dude think he is 
But we're gonna get back into the you know to the video. All right, I only care about what I know. I know Tuka Mama, I know LBG Duck Mama. The rest of them niggas, mama, I don't know them. I don't give a fuck about them. Nigga. You don't even know them. I ain't one of them niggas that care about everybody. King Vaughn killed that little girl, yeah. He just Chicago police even said it, man. King Vaughn was a killer. There, who is Stack Five? I don't know no Stack Five. You do Steven Jackson. Yeah, I don't know him. Oh, but yeah, know, you don't know if King Vaughn killed people. Yeah, I do. It's documented. He was in jail for it. And the police got documentation and evidence. So I do know it's documented. It's wrote. Look it up. The mm. rest of them niggas ain't got none. KI is the girl that killed King Vaughn. Uh, I don't give a fuck who she is. I don't know who none of them people. I only know what I'm talking about. So fuck whatever else you talking about. I don't know nothing about You don't it. even know what uh, you... the mothers and the kids. This is stupid. Look at him. He looks stupid. He just looks stupid. Like you don't even know what you're talking about. All that is inclusive together, and you sitting up here. I don't know what you're talking about, but I only know what I'm talking about. You don't even know what you're talking about. You, one, you don't know Duck Mama. You don't know Tuka Mama. And what are you doing for them exactly? What are you doing for them, etc.? Except, except um, bringing them on platforms to make it seem like you actually doing something, nigga. That ain't gonna bring Duck back. It ain't gonna bring Tuka back. You're not actually helping them in their everyday life. Nigga, you exploiting their hurt and their pain to fuel your image to make it seem like you for the people. If y'all people that's at home don't understand it, I get that. I can understand it, but that ish don't go over my head, man. That stuff shouldn't be going over y'all head neither, dog. Like, what are you really doing for them? What are you really doing for them, man? Like, y'all ain't... <laughs> You're flying them out. To, I seen some videos where you talking about, I'm flying them out and uh, we trying to get them a job. Like, bro, that's not doing nothing for them. That ain't doing nothing for them. That ain't changing nobody's lives. <laughs> These dudes sit up here and they swear up and down, man, that they actually inspire a change. And I don't know what he's doing in his everyday life, but this ain't no change. This ain't no man to look up to. He is a... This is a this is a, a false sense of security for our, our people, and they love to to feed us images like a him. Nigga don't really got no principles. He definitely not on. He definitely not had don't have no Jesus or no God for no. You could tell in his actions, man. And I'm not saying obviously y'all know the mouth the tongue is one of the hardest things to control. Y'all see me go crazy, but like bro, it's levels. You will at least see somebody try, and at his age. You see just more substance from somebody from his age, other than just he he ha ha. He's just a jokester. He's a jokester and he's fake and he makes it seem as though like he's just so down for the people and he hates those who like kill people. He hates people that kill black people. But ain't you the same nigga that tried to call the cops on King Yellow? Called this PO. How you so for the people, but you calling people POs trying to get them locked up and you calling and doing all this for nothing though i could say if you had a legitimate reason but you bsing you playing with people's lives what person that's actually for the people carry themselves like this man and i'm not gonna watch this whole video because like dude y'all know who he is i just wanted to react to some of the stuff that he said you should be left out of this you're a goddamn lie why the mothers and the kids should be left out of this why who said that do you think the white boy leave the kids in the mama's house the white men don't leave kids and mamas out. When they go drop bombs over in another country, they don't say, hey, y'all get the mamas and the kids out. They don't do that. That's only you weak motherfuckers talking about the mothers and the kids that left out. You're a goddamn lie. You just a punk. And everything attached to you is involved. Look, that nigga's a punk. D nigga, it sounds good. Everything attached to you is nigga, it sounds good. But you calling folks, I promise you, nigga. I can never get around this nigga. I, I'm going to jail. God, please keep me away. Because I'm going to jail. Just the stuff that you said about my homie. That's how I know. They just thinking back on Breezy. Well, I know Bond don't even know you. So I don't even got to go to that. Like, that's that's a whole story for another day. Which really ain't even no story. But yeah, man. I just hope you never really get around nobody that actually love Vaughn. And know what Vaughn. Just, just know what Vaughn principles is, folks. Because, gee, I will knock your ass out. And I'm not a per I don't want to put that energy out there, but you disrespecting a mama. You calling folks OG bitches. Then you sitting up here talking about tooking their mama. Like, bro, I, I don't have nothing against them. I, I mean, I got the equal same love and respect 
for them as I would have for another just random women. I'm a respectful person, period, until you disrespect me. What am I mama doing to you, man? He's trying to make it seem like he's just trying to be on opposites of O Block. He know that the world right now, they put, he's on, he hating. He hating. This is what hating really look like. So now he trying to, oh, I, what, look what I'm doing for Tuka. Nigga, what, what are you doing for Tuka and the mama for real? What the hell does that? Bro, if you really was on something, you would be trying to bring them together. Have a sit. I know it's going to be uncomfortable. But if y'all understand that only when you can make yourself comfortable, uncomfortable is then when you can grow. In certain situations, you have to become uncomfortable or else you'll quit. You won't ever get anything out of life if you quit. So you got to become uncomfortable. And, you know, you got to become comfortable in uncomfortable situations. So bring that side together. Bring the mamas together. Let's see if we can do that. Why you out? It's the vision, the vision, the vision, the vision. That's all these dudes care about. To divide this, divide that. That's all you're doing. You're not helping nothing, Charleston. Charleston, fo Charleston, kneecap head white. <laughs> You're not helping anything, my good fella, at all. It's crazy that you, you honestly, you, you, you playing this game that somebody, you would think somebody my age would be, man. So I got to do a live tonight. Y'all definitely make sure y'all left. I ain't too much got more to say on dude. I'm about to end this video like this. Y'all know he's ignorant. We going to go through more of it tonight. Um, But yeah, y'all see what the what the basis of it was man y'all see what the basis of it was it's, it's more of his shenanigans um just basically being who exactly who he is and you cannot expect anything less from somebody that's fake and they claim they for the people man i actually hope that y'all really start to watch these people and watch their tactics just be this is really charleston white this is not and this is not uh no um character. This nigga, you might look like a character. That's for sure. Your ass look like Pinky in the Brain. That's one thing for sure. But who you are and that that's in you, nigga. That's that heart you got. And you better hope you never get nowhere around hood. Cause on bro, I'ma knock that eyeball out your shit. I swear. Definitely swear. For all that shit you keep talking about for my brother, then he disrespecting his OG. Man, we don't stand on principles like that, goofy man. But with that being said, man, I hope y'all enjoyed the content. Not even enjoyed it. This ain't this ain't even enjoyable for, for me to make. I'm just, nigga, y'all see what's going on, man. And I'm ending it like that.